All right, guys. So we're here on I think it's Mongolian Heights. This one. I don't know all the map names yet, off the top of my head. I was gonna call it Rivers, but that's an Age of Empires 2 map. Anyway, we're in game number three, The Decider. This is the only thing more important than State of Origin game number three. We got Dinky King as HRE representing Australia up against Koinu. Also known as Cyark, representing Japan, playing his China. So guys, this is uh, basically the semi-final of the second and third place game. The winner goes through to play Hut to be crowned the uh, champion of the Zero, M uh, Zero Effort Age of Empires 4 tournament number 4. So, I haven't casted any HRE at all, this tournament, and the only China, I haven't actually casted any, I've played against it for round one and I lost that. Bloody bullshit Siv, Imba OP, nah just kidding, I'm too new to make any balance calls. <laughs> so this official... We'll automatically gather the gold from the buildings um, when tasked to do so. So it's interesting to see he's not put on automatic. Is Coiner going to do it manually when he gets to 50 or? Like, what's the building cap out versus, like, I know their cap's 40 until you get the upgrade. Sorry, guys, I haven't really actually spectated a lot of top-level players in this yet. I haven't really even been watching a lot of streams or anything like that. But this could be interesting, because if Dinky manages to wall off... Well, if either player manages to wall off while their opponent... <laughs> Is scouting. You can trap the scout with all their sheep. Especially if they brought some over from their side of the map. <laughs> it sucks, man. I was on the receiving end of that from Veggie. But it looks like... Yeah, Dinky's going to trap uh, Cyark scout. And I think... Four out of six, four out of seven of those sheep are actually from his side of the map. So, but in say that, could Dinky could do it to him, could do it to himself of doing the same thing. Like there's all these sheep just here. The walls have gone up. Have I accidentally done something that so I can't see the walls, or is it just... Oh, they're, they're there. They're just faint. Again, it's very faint on the map. It's so hard to tell the blue apart. So a barbican right in the center of the map here. Going to give the Chinese player a lot of control in the center of the map. I think he's deciding. I'm not actually going to turn that into a gate. I just might even put a second wall down. No, wait. No, I won't. That's a lot of sheep trapped there for uh, Sire. So Dinky already fishing. Really booming ahead in terms of score at the moment. I'm throwing down the chapel. So this is good inspiration for the eco because the initial wood line, the initial berries, both going to benefit. But the barbican going to mean the Chinese player have good control of the mid map here, and the scout's going to be really well defended. Barbican should make it very tough to try and engage that scout. 
It's a really smart way for Psyarch to get his scout back quickly, because as soon as he gets some military units, he can look at just tearing this down, this palisade wall, pretty easily. But in saying that, Dinky's got so many fishing ships, more in the queue at the moment. So that eco is just going to be roaring ahead. Like Dinky's food economy is basically double Psyarx already. And Dinky even has a scout in his opponent's base. So this is sort of the perfect way to be in. If you're trying to play greedy on Mongolian Heights, I guess. I'm going to try that, actually walling everything off while I just get greedy water. So, H2 now for Dinky. Quite a bit slower than Coin is. He's already going for the stone to get his second town center. And another academy. I mean, another landmark. So, is this the one that takes him to age 3? Or is this the one that gives him the dynasty bonus? Because the dynasty bonus, I believe... Yeah, it is the one for the dynasty bonus. It's actually for... Villager train time reduction. So couple that with a fast second town center. You can get awfully quick production of vills. And then turn that into a fairly quick age 3. Offset the huge water boom from your opponent. So both players have actually spawned with three relics on each side of the map, and the beauty of HRE is that thanks to the Reg Regnitz or Regnitz Cathedral, you've got double effectiveness of the relics. So if you're coming from Age of Empires 2, relics in Age AoE 2 I think do 30 gold a minute. So you know one gold every two seconds in Age of Empires 4. They do 100 gold every minute, I think it is. Yeah, so... It's actually, you know... Over three times better. And then on top of that, with HRE, if you saw this, you get... Tr triple? Triple the gold for the two relics you put in there? So both players just walling up here. It's been a very greedy game from both our players here. Oh, they are on automatic now, are they? Oh, no, they're not. Is he microing it? <laughs> Knights killed one of the sheep. Oh, there's a transport ship to sneak some units across here. Cheeky stuff here. So, Dinky. Looking to mount the first real blow in the game. There already are some spears here to defend for Sayak. Oh, 
Got five spears. As much as it, they could win that trade, Dinky can continue to be a pest and just deny some gathering, which he is doing. Another pair of knights have been rallied in. So, some good drop, drop shooting. So we've got three sets of knights, just to be a bit of a pest. Force Ark, force him to get a couple more spears and split them up across his base. And whenever they're fighting with, you know, like, pairings like that, you can definitely get kills. But in saying that, unless you're French, obviously, it's probably not that wise because it's still not that cost effective, that health trade that you just saw made. But at the same time, it does mean that your opponent is sort of a bit locked up with control. And you can only do so much micro, I guess. But yeah, Syarch a bit unsuccessful there, losing a couple of... Well, losing a knight and ne nearly losing a second. But he... Re uh, sorry, Dinky. But Dinky's really locking up Syarch gathering at the moment. He's even going to force a ga uh, garrison. A lot of garrisoning here. Yeah, ooh, this is really tough for Syarch. I think he's really applying the pressure now. But he's fast on the garrisons. He's adding some outposts. He did get a couple of night kills through this, so... It's not been without loss for Dinky. And in the meanwhile, Dinky's managed to get two relics so far, and he's going to add a third. That wall is broken there. But there is plenty of knights still here, in, still here in play. And there is even some man at arms that have already got some upgrades. So Syarx have been under the pump, Dinky's. Really looking to wrap this one up already. It's been an impressive use of the water boom there. And I mean, would you add another dock here just to make it easier for the fishing ships to drop off? Or do you just sort of rely on having taken, or well, possibly taking the movement speed upgrade and leaving it at that? But GG. Dinky is our winner. Cyarch taps out. Well played. And so Dinky goes through to play against Hut, 2-1. to one. Impressive stuff. And thank you all for tuning in.